welcome back to Bubble Pop Kids. Another candy bonanza coming your way. I found some of the coolest and yummiest looking candy ever. I've never tried these before. Look at this. Double bubble fizzers, fizzing bubble gum. I guess when you chew it, it fizzes up in your mouth. That's so cool. We have a grape sour flush. Ooh, even more double bubble cotton candy flavored. We have this little Pac-Man machine. <laughs> I guess there's candy in there. There's supposed to be. That's kind of weird. We have some Warhead Super Sour Spray. Look at these Jelly Belly Camouflage Beans. <laughs> How funny is that? I'm just so curious to see what the flavors will be. Ooh, I've never even seen these Airhead Bites. I guess they're like the Airhead Taffy and these little gumball bites. We have another one of these. On my last candy bonanza, I had this coconut slice. It was like a chocolate vanilla strawberry. Now I have this red, white, and green one. It looks so, so yummy. Look at these Warhead Sour Coolers. <laughs> sour tarts with cooling crystals. Mm, those are gonna be good. We have some trolley gummy rocks. These are kind of hard. They're not like gummy candy. Wonder what those taste like. Oh, I never reviewed Pixie Sticks. I finally found them. We have four different flavors. Those are good. What else? Ooh, fudge brownie cookie dough bites. <laughs> those are making my mouth water. We have some Yoohoo chocolate candy bars. That is amazing. Let's do this. Looks like Double Bubble is the first on the testing table. Look at these cherry soda pop flavor. We have these cute little bubbles, fizzing bubble gum. Hmm, they're like a red little gumball. Let's try this. Ooh, these are kind of cool looking. They're coated with some type of like sugar. They're not the really shiny regular gumball. Mmm. Whoa, that was the coolest gumball I've ever tasted. So when you start chewing this, nothing really happens, but if you chew it for a little longer, your whole mouth fills up with fizzy bubbles. <laughs> it's like you took a big, big drink of soda. That is unbelievable. And it really does cheese taste like cherry Coke or something like that. I just don't know how they do it. My mouth actually filled so much, I had to take a little out. It was all bubbles. So, so cool, I really like those. And just to show you, here's a close up of that gumball. And when I open it up, all of that little white powder turns to fizz. <laughs> and that's what makes all the bubbles. How about a little candy spray? I've never tried one of these warheads. I've seen them all the time, but I'm just so curious how they're gonna taste. And it's watermelon flavor. How cool is that? You can just squirt the candy right into your mouth. It's so funny, because on the cap, it's got a sour meter tart. Sour, super sour, or extreme. This one is super sour. Ooh, that's good, because the extreme one may just be a little too crazy. So we have our little squirty bottle. Ooh, that was so, so sour and tangy. Mmm. Oh, I squirted it into my mouth, but it is delish. It has such a good watermelon flavor. And basically, if you've had the regular Warheads, it tastes like they just melted them up put them in a little bottle and eat them like liquid. Ah! Really, really delish. If you're feeling a little tired, this would give you a pick-me-up for sure. And that's what it looks like. It's just like this light pink liquid. So watermelony and sour. Such a good one. I gotta get more of these. I think they have green apple and blueberry. Yum it. Switch it up from all those gumballs and the sour spray to some chocolate cookie dough bites. Look at this. I've had the regular chocolate chip cookie dough bites, I think, at the movies before, but I have never seen a double chocolate brownie. Mmm. These are gonna be so, so good. Probably my favorite candy of the day. Let's see. Gonna try them. Ooh, they're in a the little bag. Wow, they look like raisin up. Mm. <laughs> I am most excited to try these. I love sweet and sour things, but I think chocolate is my fave. See? Mmm. Oh, these are really, really good. It's like a little brownie rolled up in a chocolate ball. You can see on the inside, it looks like a piece of brownie. The outside is like this really shiny chocolate. Delicious. I think these are definitely gonna be a new favorite of mine. So, so, so good. 
And of course, I can't do a candy bonanza without some trolley. Here is the trolley candy of the day, Gummy Rock. These are so weird because they don't feel gummy. They're actually a little bit hard and they look beautiful. <laughs> they have the cutest colors. This is fantastic. Ooh. These are cool because when they fell out on the table, they actually sound like rocks. <laughs> they're so hard, but I think they're gummy inside. Look at this one, it's got all this pretty detail. It does look like a real, like a little beach rock. Mmm, oh, these are good. Mm, these are super, super good. I don't know, the only way to describe them is on the outside, they have this hard candy coating. It's a little bit crispy or crunchy. And then on the inside, it is so, so gummy and sweet. A little tangy. I don't know, they do taste like Sour Patch Kids with a candy coating on the outside. But they are just so, so pretty to look at. Look at these. They look like little crystals. There's an orange one, they have green. Ooh, let me try this one. Mmm, watermelon, so, so, so good. This is the first time I've ever seen these before. I gotta get them again. I would definitely recommend these. If you see these totally gummy rocks, you should try them. They are delish. Here's a super close up of all four of the colors. There's kind of like a greenish speckled one. Ooh, I like this purple. It looks like a galaxy. <laughs> we have orange and this reddish pink. Now this next one really caught my eye. Look how cool this is. It's a little Pac-Man video game machine. It even has a screen on there, just like the ones you see at the arcade. And I guess there's candy in here. <laughs> I'm thinking it's at the bottom. I have no clue. Such a cute little container. Oop, found it. <laughs> it's like a little tin. And I wonder what these candies are gonna be shaped up. <gasps> they are actually little Pac-Mans. How, how funny. Here they are, little Pac-Mans. They kind of look like sweet tarts or Smarties, but they smell like banana. Mmm. Delicious! These little Pac-Mans taste just like little banana sweet tarts. Mmm, I did not expect them to be so good. And I'm also so happy they weren't lemon flavored because I don't like that too much, so they had a really fruity taste. Yummy. And if you can't finish them, you could save them, put them in your backpack, a little pencil case in this little container. Love this one so much. I haven't played Pac-Man in forever. It makes me want to play it. I think you guys know this one. Sour Flush Toilet. Mmm. These are so good. I had another one on the show in my very ever first candy bonanza. It was the pink. Now I have the grape, the purple one. It's got these two little lollipop plungers. How cute are those? And we have to test out the pucker powder inside. Pop the top. Ooh, and it's purple. There it is. Look at all that sugary goodness. <laughs> I love, love, love pucker powder. Mmm. And the cleverest thing about this candy is how they need the lollipops in like a toilet plunger shape. <laughs> that was the best idea ever. Ooh, this is kind of hard to open. Got it. Ooh, and it's blue. I thought it would be a purple color, but it does taste like grape. Oh definitely has a great flavor. It's the candy plunger with sour powder dip. Open. And once you give this a good lick, you just dip it right in there and get all of the yummy sugar at the end of it. Whoa. This little lollipop tasted so good without anything, but when you add this extra sour little sugar, oh, so, so good. It is the yummiest little pick-me-up sweet treat ever. <laughs> Mm, I think I like the grape even more than the pink one. Another great thing with the Sour Flush is it gives you two different lollipops. So you can eat one now, one later, or you could share it with a friend. Clips right on here. Ah! Let's it go. There we go. Such a yummy little candy toy. Jelly Belly time! I always need some Jelly Bellies in my Candy Bonanzas and these caught my eye so, so much. When I first saw this bag, I saw the camouflage 
finished and then I realized he was jelly beans. Look at this cute little jelly belly. He's dressed as like a boy scout. I can only imagine how yummy these flavors are gonna be. So, what are they? Wow, <laughs> a whole bunch of different ones. It says, enjoy this special collection of popular jelly belly flavors and select it to help you blend in the great outdoors. Ooh, I guess these are for like camping, chocolate pudding, ooh, juicy pear, orange sherbet, toasted marshmallow, ooh, that's a good one for camping, watermelon, licorice, and green apple. I love licorice ones. Let's try this. So many different and look at these camel colors. <laughs> so awesome. I have never heard of a mix of candies that would make up these camouflage little camping colors. They have some oranges, like greens, browns. These are the best. And my favorite, favorite, favorite kind of jelly bean in the world is the black licorice one. Mmm. Ah, so, so good. Those beat out all the other flavors. This one here with like the creamy white and little brown speckles. This is toasted marshmallow. Mmm. Oh, so, so good teeth. Just like a s'more. Look at this bright orange one. This is probably the prettiest one in the whole group. And it's gotta be orange sherbet. Mmm. I love those. Mmm. I do not know how Jelly Belly does it. It, it tastes just like sherbet. This one here is kind of like a darker green, little camouflage one. And I'm thinking that one's watermelon. Mm-hmm, mm, yummy. How about a little chocolate pudding? <laughs> this one looks kind of red, but I guess it's supposed to be brown. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. It doesn't taste too chocolatey, it tastes a little yucky. And the final, we have Juicy Pear. Mmm, I love a yummy pear. Ooh, <laughs> that tastes like a fresh piece of pear. Like you just bought it and cut it up. Unbelievable. This is probably the most authentic tasting one out of all of them. But my absolute fave was this little black licorice. So, so good. Here's a close-up of all the Jelly Belly colors. So we have orange sherbet, green apple, licorice, juicy pear, watermelon, and toasted marshmallow. Mmm. Pixie sticks! These are so, so yum. Little candy-filled straws. I'm pretty sure all of you have seen or tried these. I haven't had them in so, so many years. <laughs> Ooh, and I think they have a new flavor. Maui Punch. We have grape, Maui Punch, cherry, and orange. Ooh, let's start testing these out. Here they are, the funniest looking candies ever. <laughs> they are little paper straws. I'm sure you guys are familiar, but if you're not, they are filled with this yummy pucker powder. This must be the orange one. So all you do is like tear off one end. And I'll show ya. Mm, look at all of that. <laughs> Let's take a little taste. Oh, deep, delish. I miss this flavor. I haven't had these for so long. These are, I think, the original pucker powders. This is the pucker powder in here and like the candy sour flush toilet. But I think these are the first ones that ever came out. So we get orange. This one is cherry. Maui punch. Ooh, we have to try that and grape. So there's four different flavors and I think there's like 20 or 30 sticks here. There's so many. What is better than a little stick filled with this yummy candy sugar? Let's try the grape one. Ooh, they're all kind of a lightish white color. This has a little bit of purple in it. Mmm. <laughs> so, so, so good. Only thing about these is you can really only eat about a couple at a time just because they are just pure, pure sugar. But you have a ton to see for later. Here is the Maui Punch. Ooh, that's gonna taste tropical. Ooh, bright blue. This is the prettiest color so far. Ooh, and my favorite flavor. Here's a close-up of the sugar powder. So we get the Maui Blue, Grape, Cherry, and Orange. They actually do have a lot of color to them and they are all delish. I think my favorites are the Cherry and the Maui one, little fruit punch. You guys can leave me a comment and let me know out of all of these which one you would like. 
Ooh, and I really lucked out this time when I went on my search for the candy because I found two different double bubbles. The first one were those fizzers, and then I found some cotton candy. Mm. There's blue raspberry, cherry, and lemon flavored. Ooh, I've never had lemon cotton candy. That's gonna be yummy. Ooh, I just opened the bag a little bit and the smell hit me right away. This smells exactly like cotton candy. <laughs> I don't know how or why. They're only little gumballs, but it does. Ooh, and I love the colors on these. Ooh, they're rolling all over the place. Ah! Ooh, these ones are rollers. They're flying everywhere. Here is the pink one. I guess this is cherry. I never knew cotton candy had different flavors. I just thought they were all the same. Mmm, strangest thing ever. When you first put this in your mouth, it tastes like a regular gumball, but when you take a couple chews, that cotton candy hits you. It's like that sweet spun sugar, just like you would get at the fair, or Six Flags, or somewhere like that. It was so, so, so good. Let me try the lemon one. I'm not the biggest fan of lemon. Hmm. No, the lemon actually just tasted like a lemon gumball. It didn't taste like cotton candy at all, but I know the pink one did. That was amazing, this pink one. Ah! And let's try the blue. Mm, the blue one was cotton candy flavor too. So, I think these two were the best. I didn't like the yellow one. And if you're in the mood for some cotton candy and you can't get it, I would try to find these double bubbles. They are delish. Here's a close-up of the three gumballs in the cutest colors. Warheads, Warhead Sour Coolers. These are probably the most newest ones I've ever seen. They have little sour tarts with cooling crystals. Mm. <laughs> I have no clue how these are gonna taste, and I've never seen Warheads in this kind of shape before. Ooh, they have different colors. We have some blue, green, and they do have these little speckles in there. I guess those are the crystals. Try it. Ah! Ugh. Yucky. These are gross. <laughs> these are too, too gross. First of all, they are so, so sour. They just make you want to barf. <laughs> They're just too, too sour. It's way too extreme. If you like the most sour, sour things, these would be for you. But I just couldn't take it. It was way too sour, too, too tangy. And it just had the weirdest taste. I don't know, it didn't taste so great. It says there's green apple, watermelon, lemon, blueberry, cherry. Let's see if there's other colors. Maybe the cherry will be better. This green one was gross. Ugh. Let's try this one. Here it goes. Mm, the cherry is so much better. It is super sour, but this time I just didn't bite it and chew it all to get that big burst of flavor. I just took a little lick of it. It's got all those little blue crystals. That one taste tastes much better. But <laughs> on all, I really didn't like these just because they were too, too sour for my taste. Warheads. Ooh, the one thing that is kind of cool about these are these little cooling crystals, kind of like an icebreakers. They make your mouth super, super cool afterwards. I can't describe it. Kind of like toothpaste. After you brush your teeth and your mouth gets a little tingly but the flavors weren't that great. I don't know, they were just kind of weird. Ugh, my tongue is just, ugh, it's so yucky from those. I gotta get a better candy to make it better, and I think this is one. On my last candy bonanza, I had this. It was like a Neapolitan vanilla chocolate strawberry, and now I have this pretty red, white, and aunt green one, and I just cannot wait to taste it. It's called Coconut Slice Coconut Candy. <laughs> I know this is gonna be so, so yum. I know it looks so pretty. It looks like a little piece of fruit cake. Look at that, it looks too yummy to eat it. And it actually has the colors of the Italian flag. <laughs> it looks like the Italy flag. Let's taste it. Mmm, oh, so, so good. The last one I tried did taste a little like chocolate and strawberry. All of these colors just taste like pure, pure coconut. Mm. Besides those little fudge brownie bites, I think this is my second fave of the day. It's got all this coconut oil on there. Too delicious, it's a little scrunchy. Best. And the name of that one was Maria's Cocoa Special. <laughs> so, so good.
Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo time! Here it is! Milk chocolate flavored Yoo-hoo candy bars. Can you believe this? When I first saw this, I grabbed it really quickly and I thought they were little Charleston chews. But when I got home and knew that they were Yoo-hoo little chocolate milk flavored, I went crazy! I and the little wrapper it. looks just like a little Yoo-hoo juice box. I haven't actually had one of these in so, so long, so now... I get to try the chocolate bar version. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, and it's just solid. I thought there would be some little, I don't know, little chewy in there. Mmm. Amazing. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. These are so good. You know what? They don't taste just like regular chocolate. They do have that Yoo-Hoo taste in there. Mmm. So, so good. I love chocolate more than anything. And if you ever see these, I really, really recommend getting them. So yummy. Lollipops! Time to get a little patriotic with these 4th of July lollipops. How cute is this? It is a lollipop bouquet and it's got the red, white, and blue. Kind of looks like fireworks. So, so yummy. They actually look too good to eat. Get a closer look. All together we get six lollies, red, white, and blue stars, and then these little squiggly ones. These are so, so pretty looking. Look at those colors. I don't know how they did all that detail with sugar. But we got a test one, see what the flavors are. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Here it goes with this little twirly. Mm, you know what? It doesn't actually have any like taste like strawberry or cherry. It's just super, super sweet. Just like the original lollipop, but it tastes really, really good. These are kind of like the one Mickey ones that you get at Disney World. Mm. Mm. And the little star has the same exact taste. I really can't describe it. It's just like sugar, but not too, too sweet. I don't know, it has a really good taste. I could eat all of these. Another cool idea you could do with these is if you're making like a 4th of July cake, you can just stick these in the middle of the cake, kind of make them look like candles. Worst part of the show for me, even though I'm completely sugared out, I don't think I could eat any more today. We have our final candy of the Bonanza, and these are Airheads Bites. Mm, I have been eating Airheads for years. They are the yummiest little toffees, and I guess now they come in these cute little crunchy bites. Let's see. a little bit bigger than M&M's. <laughs> but when you saw these, you would have no idea they were airheads just because they don't look like the regular ones at all. So we get blue, orange, white, red, and green. Mm, let's try the white one. Mm. Ooh, and I couldn't really tell what flavor white was. It says now with white mystery. Mm. Thinking about it now, it's probably cherry, the white one. <laughs> So, so good. Let's try the red. Mmm, the red is even better. Tastes like strawberry. So, if you're familiar with Airheads, basically what these are, they're these little bites. They're candy coated with this crunchy candy. And then when you bite on the inside, it's pretty much just filled with the regular Airhead taffy. It's like they rolled it up in a little ball, put some candy around it. They're really, really good. Me, I personally prefer the regular ones, the little long ones better, but these are really good too. Try the blue. Ooh, the blue one was so, so much better. So it just depends if you like crunchy or the soft ones. I like the softer ones. There's all five of the colors, different flavors, and I tested all of them out. I'm loving the blue one the best. <laughs> kind of happy this is over. Sorry to tell you guys I had so, so much sugar. I am going to be on a sugar high for like a week, but I don't mind because I tested out some of the coolest and newest candy, showed it to you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show just like this. We're Bubble Pop Kids, and you can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.